What to do YouTube, it's your boy Braz back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys the exact marketing strategies that I use to take my brand from zero to five hundred thousand dollars. Now if you guys saw my last sit down video I showed you guys step by step actually how to set campaigns up as well as how to have your Facebook account set up to actually run ads. Now in today's video I'm going to break down a little bit more of the strategies and the implementations into those ads that I use to take those brands to those crazy numbers for me and my clients. We're going to go over influencer marketing, email marketing, organic marketing, and actual paid ad marketing and the exact strategies I use for my brand and my clients brands to take them to absolute crazy numbers. Real quick before we hop on the computer and actually show you guys step by step exactly the marketing strategies that I've used to take my brand to crazy numbers. If you're interested in getting your brand ran by me and your ads ran by me to take your brand to the next level, I'm going to leave the application down in the link below. Just click that, fill that out. Me and my team will get with you, but without further ado, let's hop on the computer and let's teach you guys how to take your brand to the next level. All right, so now that we are on the computer, we're going to break down a little more in depth the four different marketing strategies that I'm using to scale my clients' brands and my brand to crazy numbers. Um, but let's get into it. So number one is organic marketing. So organic marketing is going to be your cheapest but hardest option. There's tons of competition and it's not optimal for a high scale. So now someone that's a perfect example of 100% organic marketing is SK. So SK, from my knowledge, has never ran an ad before. Obviously, he's got uh, systems in place like email and SMS marketing and maybe in some sort of influencer marketing. I haven't done like too much in-depth research on him himself, but I know that pretty much all of his traffic comes from organic through TikTok. Now, obviously, if we take a look at videos, these are something that takes a lot of effort. You have to drop all the way out, and do all this stuff just to be able to use it once and for the seven thousand dollars, which obviously is not bringing a crazy amount of sales. Now, other video obviously is not all the way out there. Get the fit on, all this, edit all this. He's just using these videos. He's able to use them once. They get a couple thousand likes so be it right so sk is a good example of someone who's done a very good job with organic marketing but obviously this has taken a lot of effort to get to where he's at with this organic marketing but overall he's done a great job now obviously to get to a point like sk you have to have a really creative content style and have to be able to really engage with your viewers and give people a reason to want to buy from you um which is something a lot of people struggle with especially when starting your brand now do i advise organic marketing for startups 100 percent. it's free it's it, it you don't spend anything but time to record these videos as well as it's it's going to build more of a culty audience than anything just because people are seeing your videos 100% organically. So is it beneficial? Yes. Do I recommend it? Yes. Is it optimal? No, not really, unless you're someone like SK. But uh, let's get into the next one. All right. So next on our list is influencer marketing. So influencer marketing can get expensive, but it's worth it with the right brand setup. As long as your brand is set up properly, you have good product, good content, a uh, good website, good offer, everything like that. Influencer marketing can be well worth it, um, but it can be expensive. So having a network is key to save on cost when it comes to influencer marketing, having connections to different influencers or having connections to someone who has connections to influencers that can get you discounts with posts from that influencer, or promo from that influencer, or whatever. Now, the thing about influencer marketing is that it builds amazing social proof. When one of your customers sees your brand on some big influencer that they fuck with heavy. They're going to want to buy that as well. They're going to see young boy in it, for example, and they're going to be huge young boy fan. And they're going to want to purchase that because one of their favorite influencers is wearing your clothes as well as it's just very credible to see big people in a brand, right? So when you see one of your favorite influencers in a brand, it's, it's credible to you you now have more respect and trust that brand more. So social proof is a huge factor when it comes to influencer marketing, as well as some of the more strategies we're going to get into throughout this video. Social proof is big. So influencer marketing is a great way to bring social proof to your brand. 
Now, it doesn't want to let me record while I'm in Instagram with my face cam, but a great example of a brand who's done an amazing job with influencer marketing would be Guapi. Now, you guys have probably gotten hit with ads from Guapi. They're a huge, huge brand, do insane amount of revenue. Um, but as you can see, they've got huge influencers in their clothes. Jesus Ortiz, they've got Young Boy. They have partnerships with Young Boy, Sway Lee. Um, as you can see, like you see Young Boy all over their page. So Young Boy fans are going to be all over this brand. But another bunch of big influencers here. I don't know who all these guys are necessarily. Obviously, that's Young Boy on the right. But um, they do a great, great job of influencer marketing here. You can see they did videos with Sway Lee. Um, but a lot of rappers, really, because that's just kind of the niche that their brand is in. Now, obviously, they're spending lots of money to get contracts with these big influencers. But obviously, if they've been doing it for this long amount of time, it's well worth the money considering how well their brand is set up. So uh, a really good example of a brand that has done influencer marketing on an insane level would be Guapi. All right, so number three on our list is going to be email and SMS marketing. So email and SMS marketing is very cheap and very optimal. Obviously, you're spending a little bit of money on email and SMS marketing to send out email campaigns, to send out text campaigns, but it's nothing crazy. It's definitely well worth it, especially once you get your list built up and your list warm and you really know how to work email and SMS marketing. It's definitely a very, very, very efficient tool, especially when it comes to flows and things, because those just make you passive income. For example, if a customer abandons a checkout, you have an email flow set up to where it automatically emails them saying, hey, you left an item at checkout. Here's a 10 percent discount now to actually capture those purchases and those abandoned carts. Um, but it requires a big list of signups and opt ins, which requires a lot of traffic to your site. So the best way to do that is with paid ads to be bringing that traffic to your site. When you're running paid ads, obviously, there's going to be a good amount of consistent traffic coming to your site. And that's going to build your email and SMS list. Even uh, people who go through your sign up. So your pop up on your site, they sign up through there. That builds your email list. If customers fail checkout, if they go in, check out, put their email or their text number in there it's going to add it to your list. So abandoned checkouts add to your list. And obviously you're going to want to have some sort of pop up up on your site where it pops up and incentivizes them to sign up for email or SMS updates. And whether that incentive is a discount or maybe free item or giveaway, something like that, some sort of incentive to get them to sign up. So it requires a lot of traffic to come to your site in order to build your list to a point where it makes sense to be running this because obviously if you have 30 email subscribers what are the ads of one of them actually converting right so you want to build your list up to as high as you possibly can which is obviously going to give you the most return and the way to do that is having a good amount of traffic coming to your site which however you're doing that whether it's influencer marketing organic marketing or paid marketing which Obviously, is my top pick is paid marketing because it's just a consistent and fairly priced amount of traffic coming to your site. So paid marketing is my top pick to be bringing that traffic to the site, which is what we are about to get into. All right. So now paid marketing, Facebook ads, TikTok ads, Google ads, etc., Pinterest, YouTube, whatever it is you're running ads on. Now, my top picks obviously are Facebook ads, TikTok ads. Uh, I've made videos on these in the past and how to exactly set up the campaigns that you use for these platforms. Uh, one of my last sit down videos was a, was a video on how to set your Facebook ad account up as well as how to create your first campaign. So we're going to get a little more in depth with the strategies and audiences and everything you can use to have a successful brand and to have successful ad campaigns. So Paid marketing obviously is the best option in my opinion. That's what I do for these brands is I run ads for these brands to take their brand from 10K a month to 100 or zero to 50, whatever it is. Um, but that's obviously gonna be my top pick because it's just a consistent amount of traffic, like I said before, and it's very passive. Um, everything is really just a matter of setting things up and then just lightly maintaining them throughout the process. And it's pretty much passive income at that point, kind of once you have your strategy and figure out what works best for your brand. But you can see the dollar for dollar results. So you can see exactly how much you're spending and how much that spend is making you. So for example, you're spending $100 on ads to make $1,000 in sales, which would be a 10 row as a very good return. Um, but you can see dollar for dollar results. And it also really, really tells you 
what needs to be done for the brand. For example, you're running a campaign and your cost per clicks are high on that campaign. That means that either your creative, your product, or your copy is lacking. So customers are seeing your ads, but they're not clicking to your website. Let's say your cost per clicks are good, but it's not converting. Your conversion rate on your site sucks. You're getting a good amount of traffic to your site, but it's not actually converting. That'll usually tell you it's something to do with the product pricing, the product itself, or most likely the the website and the website layout. Customers see your ads, everything looks good to them on their ads. They're like, this product is dope. Uh, the copy is good. The content of this product is great. They click to the site. Once they get to the site, there's something there that doesn't make them convert. So it could be the pricing of the product. They don't see the pricing in the creative, the ad that they see. They see once they get to the website and they're like, oh, I'm not paying 85 bucks for this hoodie. If it was 60, I'd buy it. Or this website sucks. It looks scammy. I'm not buying from this brand. So a lot of times the analytics that you're getting from ads themselves tell you a lot about what you need to be doing to your brand in order for your ads to succeed further. Now, granted, even if your ads are performing well, they are still giving you a good idea of what you need to be doing to succeed further. Now, if you set ads up and your ads aren't performing well, it's usually telling you kind of what needs to be done to the brand itself before your ads can perform well. Um, and overall, it just grows the brand a ton. It's going to grow your Instagram followers, your TikTok followers, whatever you're running ads on. And it's just going to get your brand in front of much more eyes at a consistent rate. So that is why I praise, praise, praise paid marketing. And obviously, firsthand, I've seen it work for an insane amount of brands. I've helped over 100 brands scale with paid marketing. It is the number one option for scaling your brand volume wise and socially wise, um, getting more followers on Instagram, getting more likes, getting more comments, getting more people engaged with your brand and overall just getting your brand in front of more eyes. And most importantly, getting your brand in front of the right eyes who are going to purchase from your brand. So that is why I preach paid marketing so, so heavily. But uh, let's go ahead and go to the next slide and show you guys exactly a little more of the strategies that I'm using when it comes to paid marketing and the audiences and the breakdowns and everything I'm using to get my product in front of the right eyes in order for them to purchase from me. All right, so now some of the paid marketing strategies that you can implement into your brand when you are running ads, whether it's Facebook ads or TikTok ads, um, are kind of laid out here in front of you. So I'm going to break these down a little more in depth. Um, obviously, we have our basic cold conversion. So just targeting a broad audience, showing your ads to new people who have never seen your brand before. Um, and I show you guys actually step by step how to exactly set that up in my last video. So you guys can use that last video to reference maybe how to set up some of these other things, which pretty, pretty self-explanatory, pretty easy to once you kind of know how to set up the cold conversions to go in there and figure out how to set up the rest of this stuff. Um, but obviously, if you need more one on one in-depth help, you can just go ahead and shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'll pop it up on the screen as well as have it down in the description. So if you need more help understanding some of these strategies, and implementing them into your ad campaigns for your brand. Just, just shoot me a DM on Instagram. Um, but uh, then after cold conversions, we kind of move into our retargeting campaigns. So usually the way that I run those retargeting campaigns are based off of website or Instagram engagement. So it's basically a retargeting campaign is showing your ads to customers who have already seen your brand before. They just haven't purchased from it yet. So the best way to kind of retarget those people are people who have engaged with your Instagram previously, or people who have been on your website previously. So people maybe who have viewed content on your website or added a product to cart or even purchased from your brand before you want to retarget them. So they purchase again. Um, then we kind of have interest stacks. So testing a bunch of different interests to see what works best for your brand. So when you set up ads, you can target people based off of things that they've shown Instagram they're engaged with. So for example, if I scroll on Instagram and I engage with a lot of football, right? It's going to, and then someone sets up ads based off of people who have engaged with football, I'm gonna get their ads, right? So in this case, for most people watching this video, it's gonna be streetwear. So if I scroll all day long and I engage with streetwear on my Instagram, I'm probably gonna hit with ads that are related to streetwear. 
um, from brands that are targeting people based off interest in streetwear, right? So um, you can test a whole bunch of different interests and kind of figure out what works best for your brand. Let's say a brand like um, a more darker aesthetic brand, kind of like the opium vibe is going to kind of use interests like Rick Owens, Balenciaga, um, opium, Playboy Cardi, stuff like that. They're going to use interests like that. So that's kind of just an example. You can go off of that and kind of figure out what interests you want to test with your brand. Um, but then we're going to use a lot of CBOs. Those are really beneficial to help scale. And we kind of use these other strategies that we put into CBOs to actually scale that. So, um, and that's more for a higher level, definitely can be ran at a low level, but definitely more so for high level of scaling and high spend. And then we have look like audiences. So audiences, the best way to explain this is audiences that are similar to people who have already engaged with your brand. So when you set up a look like audience, you can target people based off of like people who have engaged with your website. You can create an audience that is similar to people who have engaged with your website and target people who are similar to people who have engaged with your website. So basically it's like people who have engaged with your website, people who are similar to them obviously are likely to engage with your website and purchase from you as well because they are similar people, right? So it's a lookalike audience, meaning these people look alike based off of their interests and what they've shown Instagram, who they've shown Instagram they are as a person, right? So it's like a lookalike audience. It's these people are similar. So this is a person who is engaged with your brand. And this is a person who hasn't engaged with your brand, but is similar to this person, right? So it's going to get this person off of this person. Uh, that should make sense. I feel like I explained that in, in the best way I could and explain that pretty well. But um, those are kind of some of the the basic uh, marketing strategies and more even so in depth strategies that I use. But um, like I said, these can be pretty pretty hard to understand just off of that information I gave you. And obviously, I'm going to aim to make a lot more YouTube videos in depth where I can help you guys understand this better because that's what I'm here to do is help you guys take your brand to the next level. Um, but obviously, like I said, if this is kind of something you're struggling with, just shoot me a DM on Instagram. I'm here to help, um, here to help you implement these into your brand and help you run successful ad campaigns. So, um, yeah, most definitely, um, just shoot me a DM. I can help you guys get these implemented into your brand. My main goal is helping you guys take your brand from zero to five hundred thousand dollars in sales with your ad campaigns so yeah that pretty much wraps up the video i'm gonna go ahead and end it here but make sure you guys like and subscribe because i'm giving all this sauce for free the least you can do in return is just help me out and give me a like and a subscribe and follow me on instagram like i said shoot me a dm if you need help implementing some of this stuff into your brand i'm more than happy to help you guys and the least you can do in return is just follow me on instagram subscribe and like but that wraps up the video i will catch you guys in the next one peace